on this build here and just started it today. Got the garage all cleaned out. Can't work before we have a clean workspace. All right, so I've got the radiator removed. I've got half the intake removed on this side. I'm just slowly working my way from one corner to the next. All right, so I have been just going through, labeling everything, cam position sensor, crank position sensor, right fan, AC, power steering, O2 sensors down here. Um, Intake air temperature, MAF sensor, plus on the battery. Other side over here, we've just got, um, this hooks up to the other side of the fan. I really find it helpful to just write on all these bags what exactly everything is. Everything that I'm taking off, I'm labeling. If I'm not labeling, it's because it's plainly obvious what exactly it is. All right, guys, I'm just about to call it quits. I got this entire, like, Christmas tree right here. Completely labeled. Um, as you can see, labels everywhere. Most of the harness is disconnected. Um, I've got a few more spots. A um, couple things I needed to identify because I wasn't sure what the heck they were. But um, I would say for about four hours is pretty good progress. Definitely. All right, so I just got the power steering pump out of there, cleaning up a little bit more room in here. Um, the power steering fluid that was in there, I flushed it out with air. It looks about like Java. So, that's not good. Pump, on the other hand, actually looks pretty decent. Um, but I'm definitely glad we're getting to switch the fluids. Yeah, the pump, not too bad. Oh, gotta flip it. Oh, got leakage. But yeah, the pump looks pretty good. The seals look good on the inside and everything like that, the way the banjo fitting was. So, definitely pretty good. Um, the hoses are cracking on it. Um, I saw the hoses on the other end, so that's gonna be something else. I think we might do AN fittings all the way across, because if you look, I don't know if you can really see this, it's, there's actually a couple little hairline cracks. There's one right there on that tip of my fingernail that you can see. So, I mean, either I could just cut this back a little bit and reuse it, or I'll replace it with AN fitting. Uh, banjo bolts. AC compressor is now out. Even though I got it professionally flushed, there was a whole bunch of orange shit that came out of it that got fucking all down in there. Fucking nasty. So I don't know if I paid for nothing because there's still a little bit in there. Not too much though. Oh well. On the Mazda, things don't go always as planned, especially if you live in the north. Um, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here in a second. Okay, so this is my transmission. I got it all polished up and everything, and this is what's been giving me all the trouble. This right here is the shift selector. And um, yeah, I've been having to drill it out. I know I'm slightly off center on this side. I've been trying really hard to get back. Um, the other side is centered though. It was just when I drilled through. So I'm just stepping up. I'm at like a half inch right now and I'm still not there. Still a lot of time. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how I fix it. After enough drill bits, bigger and bigger sizes, I finally got it out. Good to go. I don't think I'm actually gonna buy the OEM part. I think I'm gonna try to make something. I mean, it is a shifter, but um, I'm just gonna reattach the OEM lever, different hardware. I really don't see a reason why not to. Everyone else is running uh, like solid bronze oil bushings and stuff. I mean, I can get one of those too, but $40 versus five. So we'll see what we can do. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm not happy with how much time I had to spend on it, but yeah, she's pretty clean inside there. Yeah, there's actually supposed to be plastic, but yeah, it's pretty screwed up. On so it. I actually finally got the remaining bits out of it. So what actually happened after 175,000 miles? It basically disintegrated all of the plastic that was in there, and it just rusted right solid 
would not move at all.